Good morning, everyone. Well, I tried to Facebook Live, but it just was not working for me. Uh, one day I'll pick up the skills and I'll be able to send you a live video. So I'm really sorry about that. Uh, this is our zoo, Mountain Spirit, hailing at you from beautiful downtown PG. I'm here in southern Belize and look at this. This is the morning sun. We wake up with all of God's energy here. It's so beautiful. And remember, I had promised you that when the Brugmasia, the angel trumpet, blossomed on the full moon that I was going to share it with you. And here I am, as promised, as promised. Look at them. Look at this. Take a whiff. So I am sitting here under the Brumasia, the angel trumpet. I'm feeling the energy and I really wish you were here. The smell is awesome. Remember I had shared with you that in traditional healing, this tree is used to balance lunatic energy because it works with the energy of the moon. Clearly, it works with the energy of the sun too. I'm trying to catch it so you don't have uh, a shadow on my face. But I'm here reporting to you about this wonderful plant and the feeling that I get. It's so awesome. Like this is the longest I have ever sat underneath it. I mean, usually I put people under it and, and I talk about it, but to, to be inside the plant like this, this, um, this plant grows very, very quickly. It's very easy to grow. I don't know why everybody doesn't have it. It grows in tropical climates as well. well it's originally from Brazil. So it grows in the tropics as well as in cold weather. And you can grow it indoors, you can grow it in your patio, you can grow it anywhere you are. There are a couple of things I want to share with you about this plant that um, maybe it's not so good news, but it's better that you know so that maybe, maybe you can help. Okay, um, one of the things is the bad reputation that it has. It's being uh, put on a list of uh, plants that are dangerous for humans and uh, plants that are poisonous, um, toxic. This plant had no intentions of any such thing when it came to this planet. This plant has come to earth to heal humans from the imbalance of lunatic energy. This is for healing lunacy. So if you have a mental imbalance, you can sit under this tree or this bush, just grow it, have it in your environment, have it in your air. Now every full moon, um, traditional healers have noticed that during the full moon, everyone who has any kind of chemical imbalance has like a little episode. So the tree blooms at that time to be there to help you uh, when it happens. And that's, that's really all the plant wants to do. The other unfortunate thing, and I guess one uh, thing causes the other. The other unfortunate thing is that it's been uh, hybrid. It's been reproduced um, in a way where it no longer has the, the healing properties. It, it, the plant can no longer function. It's just pretty. And they call them ornamentals. And they say, okay, we've removed the toxins and the poison, so now you can have them in your house. Um, that, that, that's good and, and bad. I mean, it's good that you can have it in your house and anyone who's silly enough to eat the leaves or, or smoke the flowers uh, will be protected because the plant will have no uh, medicinal uh, qualities at all. It'll just, it'll just be pretty. However, if you wanted to use the plant for healing, if you wanted to experience the medicine that this beautiful plant brings to humanity, you really need the real plant. So what's happened with the hybridization is that they can't really get the white ones to reproduce. These are the orig original angel trumpets. This is their color. They don't have as much success with them. So most of the hybrids are the colored ones. They have orange color, they have yellow color, they have pink color. And so they're making all these really pretty colors. And they may have the fragrance as well, but they don't have the healing properties. They just don't um, function in the same way. They, well, they're fake, they're phony. Uh, and, and supposedly that's for, for your safety. But for your safety, what you need is the real medicine that this plant brings. And get yourself one. Get yourself a real one. Don't get one of the fake ones. You know, the plant is uh, it's, it's a nightshade. So it's related to the tomato and all the other nightshades, which is at one point, you know, like the eggplant. 
Um, at one point, uh, it was said that they were dangerous too, that all nightshades are dangerous, but they're not. They bring a particular and unique type of medicine for humanity. And we have to stop being afraid of what nature gives us. You know, we have to stop falling for the myths that anything that God created for us could be bad for us. Let's not let anybody talk us into thinking that nature is a scary place, all right? So that's why I'm here, and that's why I speak. That's why Mountain Spirit speaks. So this is Ours of Mountain Spirit coming to you all the way from beautiful downtown Belize. Uh, this is me sharing the Brumancia with you. Uh, I'd love to see you again. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like it. I'm sorry it's so short. I did try to go live this morning when it first came out, but I just can't do it. It just wasn't working for me. Our zoo mountain spirit. See you later. Here it is. The day after the full moon. Here she is. Brugmasia. Just so you can see the prize that you get less than a year after planting. Perfect timing and a full moon. Here's the other little guys. They'll be blooming the next time around. Well, that's it, boys and girls. That's my angel trumpet, Brugmasia, blooming for you after a beautiful, beautiful rain. It bloomed on the full moon, which was two days ago. So already this blossom is a couple of days old, and look at it.